Hello, and welcome back to the saga. This is Red McNed, and I'm about to get things rolling with a, uh, a big project. I, I was talking about it for a little while, but then I stopped. So I'm going to talk about it again. I want to make a big wall around uh, to this side of the city. So to that side of the city, I want to put a wall. And to do that, I'm trying to remember where I put my obsidian. I think I put it... I think I put all my obsidian into that room down. Down, down. Nope. Not good enough. I need that efficiency for... There it is. Okay. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm. Mum. Mum, mum, mum. So. It either costs 11 or it costs 5. Yeah, I'm gonna go with 11. 5, I mean. Oh, I don't have to mine it. Yeah. I'm happy about that. So let's not get this achievement, even though we're making it. And we all know why. So we got our beacon. Oh, we need a lot of iron. A lot, a lot. I think it's like three stacks of iron blocks. All right, well, I guess I'm just going to dip into the uh, reserve. Yeah, in case you didn't know, I've been, uh, I've been mining uh quite a bit all right we got oh i almost forgot the one thing i almost forgot the uh iron ingot and just in case i screw up or need more i'm bringing more there's a nice place tucked away in here somewhere i think i saw it a few episodes back so this lovely area i say this lovely area so i'm gonna dig down and if you haven't seen me dig down, prepare to live. <laughs> let's see, yeah. So let's go with this one. So if I look straight down, get right on the line here, I can get away with some pretty fast straight down digging. If you think this is fast, you should see me dig up. Of course, I uh, I went a little too hastily down there, but whatever. It's not like we landed in that. So we are at oh, perfect diamond level. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the uh, pyramid right here. It's nine by nine base, and it goes in one for each level. And it's got to be all something like this. You can do diamond if you want, but I am not that kind of person. Hmm. Something screwy. Did I go... Oh, I did. <laughs> Whoops. I got ahead of myself and went, went too long on that side. Whatever. If I had two beacons, I would just put one there and one there. Uh... Well... Let's place a oh nice. So I believe within fifty blocks of this beam, it's uh, go go time. Really, you'd put a diamond in there. Why would you? Why would you ever do that? So, we want that haste, that double haste. Oh yeah. Uh oh. So I must I must take a take a knee here and take on a serious note talk about this. Um with uh with great power you must understand comes great responsibility. And yada yada yada. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh, yes. Oh, beautiful. It's beautiful. I'm almost gonna cry. But in all seriousness, I actually am being responsible with this. I um I do want to bring uh to take a lot of stone out of here. This is gonna be like the uh, official rock quarry of the area. Um, uh, so as as soon as I finish up with a village over there, which actually might not take that many more episodes, I'm going to start moving back here and giving this place some sort of a uh, backstory. Oh. That was a very violent birthing. <sighs> well, as you can see, I've been quite busy. I've got all of the furnaces going. All of them. And, you know, these are, these are pretty full, too. That one's not as full, but you get the idea. So, I'm starting to get enough resources together to um, go to the next phase of this operation for sleep. I might as well head over and show you all, show you all what I've been up to. I've noticed that I I take a very specific path at the same time over and over to uh, get to the uh, mining area, and I'm thinking maybe I should make this a better path, or like this gives me the idea, an idea, of what path is the best, or what I should turn into a really nice path. I can definitely see something happening up here, right above the uh, the mine shafts right there. So I'm hoping that I can set up something where the entrance to it is there, instead of way over there in that kind of weird area. It's not really a weird area. It's just it's just way over there. So let's go this way. Ah, so this is where I've been hanging out for a little while. As you can see, I really like this beacon. And this area will probably be turned into something. You know. I really like these. And I'm wondering if I could use them to make sort of uh, statues or something. Statues of figures. They actually look like they're all kind of holding their hands out, so I'm wondering, or arms or whatever. I'm wondering what I can do there. Now that you've seen, uh, you, I think I've shown you this. I think I have. I don't know. I can't remember. Five seconds ago, apparently. I'm going to head back and start the next phase. Mmm, delicious. So, let's, uh, once again, we've been, we've been contacting uh, myself in creative mode for quite a lot recently. Oh, well, I guess we'll just continue the trend. Na, 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 na. Hello, myself in creative mode. I'm looking for a wall design. I need a wall. Go! I don't got no time to fool around. Hey, I heard that you might be needing a tower, so I have uh, found one. I did not make this. This is a tower f designed by Madness64. At least it better be, because that's what I'm saying. A uh, link will be in the description. It was actually a tutorial on a um, a bridge type thing. But it had a very nice looking tower connected to it, so I just kind of rounded out the design. And now it's its own thing. And he also put in a little wall design. So I kind of... I liked this for being able to... Uh, connect into these towers and he even was so gracious as to give a uh, a curved option although I kind of changed it a little bit toward the uh, top here um, it his, his is cool and all just you know I, I decided to um, 
uh, sort of expand it out a little bit. And yeah, this is um, hopefully this this works out for your uh, wall that you're making. Huh? Oh, splendid. In that case, we'll just need to get those resources going. It's going to take a lot of stone, which is why I've been mining in uh, smooth stone, that is. I've been, I've been gathering resources. And lots of wood. I think we have all those covered. At least enough for this. So I'll, I'll get over there. We can start the first step. The first step is just mapping out the area of the wall. So my first order of business... Uh, business is to mark out spots where I think towers are going to go. So I'm probably going to do something kind of like this. Just to, you know, like, hooray! It, oh, I don't know about that. Hooray! Just a, just a cube of nether rack. That's going to mark where a tower is going to be. And this, this line is going to go all along here, right through those pretty flowers. And basically, whenever it looks like there's a uh, kind of a taller spot, so I believe this is going to be a tower. Maybe there could be one more here. So I'll mark this off. And then, let's see. I'm wondering how I want this to end. I might even go ahead and just like put a huge tower like in the water. I don't know, you think this is out far enough to, uh, better go one more just to really, oh, oh, I do it, okay, just to really sink it in for everybody that, uh, they don't want to mess. I think I'm going to start making these only one tall, because I might run out. Alright, so going the other way from this path, this one, and... Probably somewhere in the middle of this uh, sort of fieldish area. I'll take away this one and put the tower here. All right, so moving, moving along. So this is another kind of nice spot. I bet we could put one here. These don't have to be exact locations either. They're just kind of giving a rough idea. Um, so this is an interesting one because I don't know if I want to include the cave with the wall or not. So I'm not gonna touch that just yet. Um, what I will do is make sure another tower happens over here. Looks like I need to raise the ground a little bit though. So I want it to be kind of sitting tall, not like in a little valley. Like, I want it here. <laughs> but it turns out it's kind of a low area. So, do some really quick um, terraforming. All right, and then in here, I'll fix this up later. And here somewhere about, uh, there'll be another tower. Okay, we got another tower down. Moving right along. Let's see, I think there can be like one more tower here. Yeah. I won't I won't mess with terraforming for the anymore. Just it's gonna wind through here. Oh yeah, I cut these down a while ago. Um Maybe I'll have one more like here. Yeah. Put one more here. That tree might <laughs> might have to go. It's going to wind around, and it's going to go into the water just like the one before. So, oh, ho, ho, ho. right about here. And then the rest is uh, free for all for whoever. I might actually have it go all the way out to there. Hmm. 
Looks like an evil lighthouse is about to be built right there. So this part, I'm just I'm going to be doing a more detailed version of uh, mapping this out. Now this um, this requires a bit more room actually, so I have to expand this platform. I'm actually surprised about this, and maybe I shouldn't be, but I am almost out of dirt. Like this is the last of the dirt, so I'm gonna have to go specifically mining for it. Never really think of that as a a precious resource, but in this case, it is. So each of these towers is going to, I guess I'll um, have a design kind of like this. Too lazy to describe what I've just built, and I actually don't know the name of it. So that that is what each tower is going to look like, and I'm going to go ahead and lay down the path for the uh, uh, the wall. That's it. I'm pretty sure this happens, but I'll check my notes. Nope, I was not wrong. This is it, it's uh, two of them like this, and there one in between where there's nothing. So, let's start by bringing this out. You skip three, and you put one down. And it's sort of like railroad tracks until uh, probably hmm, close to here. I think I'll go one more. I'm not going to worry about elevation. Like, I'm just looking at bird's eye, bird's eye view, what it should look like. So this is going to start to turn. Um, so in order to do that, I'm going to bring this out one. And this is going to go straight. And then from here, this is going to go where this torch is. And then it's going to go kind of nice and straight diagonal until I tell it otherwise. Always skipping one. Always going straight. Oops, that's not straight. Let's see. I could either plow through these trees, which I'm really tempted to do, or go around them. Cow, you you need to give me space. <laughs> I like you, but I don't like you. There. <laughs> now, I could go for a straight shot, but that might be kind of boring. I don't know, actually. Would it be boring? It would be easier. Cow. I do have to eventually curve it, but I'm not going to do that just yet. Just going to keep going straight. I'm going to start curving it now. So the curve in. This one keeps going business as usual. This one, instead of going there, goes here. Just like that. Uh, I think I might be incorrect on that one. Yeah, this one does keep going straight. So that when it does curve in like this, it makes more sense. Yeah. Beautiful. That's exactly what it should look like. So how am I going to approach this thing? I think I want to S... <clears throat> kind of S it like that and into it. So I'm going to go like probably one section straight. <laughs> the mushrooms don't like that at all. And it's going to start turning again. There. This one keeps going straight. It's going to finally decide to turn here and this is going to be actually a really sharp turn so I might be able to just I don't know I might have to go straight once then come around see if that works it might 
yeah, that'll, that'll work just like this. So that, that tower is going to be moved over because there's no way I can turn this, this that tight. I'm not that professional. But it's going to start turning like now. So there's one. Yeah, got to get rid of this. So the next chance I get, I'll make that regular looking. Let's go straight. Turn. Turn, turn, turn. Maybe I should have one less straight away in here. I should go straight into the turn sections. Nah, I've already done it. No going back. And even if there is, I'm not going back. This is the next tower, so set up this not checkerboard. Just a square with alternating. New tower. So I might not keep... Um, keep going on and on about the shape of this thing like it's if you really want to know how to make this um the tutorial is actually really good i just kind of you know change things up a little bit i think this section's this this section coming up is going to be kind of interesting so as long as it's interesting stuff for me to talk about i'm going to hopefully keep talking so this is going to be sort of like a miniature S bend right in here. Yeah, that looks that looks good. So aerial view coming at you. This is where it's sort of like going diagonal only it, it's going to come immediately back to its original pattern just in time for the sunset. I wonder if this whole thing will actually fit on here. Wow, that's that's professional. Professional luck. And this one, it's going to continue out this side actually just to be different. I'm just going to keep trucking along and uh, doing, doing this stuff. And if you thought, oh, this looks kind of resource intensive, uh, yes, you're right. It can be quite, quite resource intensive, but I think it's going to look good. Alright, for this part I am being kind of weird, so I might as well talk a little bit about it. I'm I'm doing this same pattern, but I'm like going up two over one on both sides, if that makes any sense. So it looks sort of like a uh, more of a slant. But it's okay, I can I can reel it in. Just like that. Now it's going straight. Yeah, this tree needs to go. It's going to be in the path. That one might be safe. Might be. How? What? What? It, how'd you... There's no hole in the fence, right? What? 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 What is this? Uh... Let me check this really fast. I think they were just glitching out. Nothing I can really do about that. Better choose wisely, sheep. <laughs> what side of the fence do you fall on these issues? As long as you don't fall on the fence. You can't fall on the fence. I need to build it. I'm getting better at landing in the right spot. 
it's a good thing about these kind of bigger projects is that the more you you do it, the, the faster you get. Which doesn't make doing tutorials easy because usually to a tutorial on the very first part. And then by the end, that's probably when you actually should be. Your, your instructions will probably be the clearest after. After building it forever. Ooh, you know, this is a big wall. <laughs> uh, I had it, I ended up extending it to this island out here. Uh, you can't see where out here is, probably. But, I think this wall's taken itself seriously. Just a good good amount of seriously, not not too much seriously. But as you can see, I followed the pattern. And every so often there's a lovely tower. The, um, the elevation makes this look kind of weird. But, it does indeed wind around. And I actually really hope that I have enough resources for this. Because each of these little uh, little logs spoken out is going to be a tower of wood. And not only that, but in between them and decorating them, there's going to be a lot of stone. Types of stone. But I like the shape that this ended up taking. It actually seems quite natural. And I think that, um, let's see if we can get a quick, a quick aerial. This is one of the best ways to, uh, see what's up. About ten high. Yeah, if it just kind of snakes along. That's, uh, that's going to be quite nice, I think. And it's even got the cave right there. Oh, wait, no, it's back there. You get the idea. So... Now I have to think, what's the next part? Probably, if there's any, uh, oh, I really shouldn't save the terraforming for later, but I think I will. I'm just going to, I'm going to build the towers. Let's build the towers. Let's build the towers. So I'm going to use this one as a demonstration. And I will say again, the tutorial for this tower is available uh, at the link in the description, but in case you want to see me do it in uh, survival mode, I'll show you. So this this main uh, five by five thing will be the tower. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take each of these and bring them all up to the height of four. And I'm gonna do it all at the same time just to make it easier on me. What might make it actually even easier is if I'm in the middle here. That'll be four. Splendid. And now this, these ones in the corners, I'm going to bring these up five more, so it'll be nine in total. That's four. There we go. That's nine all together. And now we kind of jump down. There's not really much of a... Oh, if you have enough armor, then you don't you don't have to afford pain. Nice. So, I'll start with uh, one side. And... Kind of helps to almost, like, climb it while you're building it. This part, it helps if you go for a block on top, an upside down stair, right side up ones. This one's kind of tricky to get right. That looks looks good. And a block. The same. So kind of hit this corner, the lower left hand corner, and then you can get a stair. And let's see. This is a stair, so is this, and the bottom. And that happens on all four sides.
Now if you're building this and you're on a side that has a wall sticking out, instead of a stair for this one, you just put another block. What I will do is show that you could actually go up, put a jump, put a stair, jump, put an upside down stair. And that one's actually really a little bit tricky, so I'll go over that slowly. You basically aim for this part of the block below. So when you jump up, you click at the highest part of your jump, you end up with the upside down stair. It's kind of fancy, huh? But then you put a block, and now it's up time. Up, up time? Whatever. Uh, let's see. Nice expendable block. Just put a little plus sign in the middle. The trees, tree logs. I don't know what other type of log there is. You better not answer that. And let's see. Each of these is going to have one coming out the side. So this is the best way to kind of get them all. I think there's a button on each of these. I Ooh, I do. I do have stuff for it. So we have button. Get these stairs back out. So this is these are gonna be two upside downs. It's really it might be kinda of hard to uh get that further one down. So if you need to, you can always go go down here and put it upside down there. And then put the log in. But if you think that this is not a big deal, then it's not a big deal. <laughs> And congratulations! So it'll be a block on top of each of these. And in between them there's an upside down stair. A lot of upside down stairs. And on top of each of those middle ones, there's a block. Oops. We all saw that coming. And a pretty cool design I, for this here is an upside down and then a right side up on either side. Gives it that kind of castle-y looking. Uh, castle-y looking? Whatever. It gives a shape like that. I think that looks that was that was an ingenious idea. Good job, good job, Nicholas Blocko. Wait, no, it's not Nicholas Blocko. Madness sixty four. I, <laughs> I think I've used designs by both of them. By now. Oh, I think they're both pretty good. They have cool ideas. Although I think Madness sixty four doesn't make Minecraft videos anymore. But he left a bunch of them up, and they're pretty awesome, especially for stuff like this. And let's see. I'm going to go into some of the final decorative touches. There's going to be like a half slab sandwich with a cobble fence in the middle. Tasty. So just below the log and just above it. I guess it takes exactly 10 minutes to build one of these because... I started in the morning and now it's already evening. All in a day's work. Right. Alright, I'm going to have to jump down probably. I'm going to light this up just so uh, nothing uh, nothing too bad happens here. Ooh, it's all dark in the middle. Alright, forgot to light that up. Geronimo and whatnot. I think there's a bunch of stuff on the outside. I'll dig through it. I'll dig through it. So, little last finishing touches for for this to be done. Then we can eat it. Is uh, let's see, right where the steps are. There's uh, one of those. 
an upside down, a right side up, and that. And that happens on all the sides. And he also put little nice little uh little nice littles to kind of round it out. I like this because there are no spawnable surfaces except for well we'll we'll work on the uh the bridge parts the very top and in the middle, but besides that, this thing's pretty uh spawn proof and I think it'll it'll serve to uh help keep the bads out of this this lovely village town. I don't know if it's a village or a town. It's kind of big. It might turn into a kingdom by the time we're done. So that's kind of... That's that. I'm going to sleep now. Ooh, I like that. It's sort of castle-y and uh, distinguished. I think it'll look good for this place. Now since I screwed with the wall so much, making the design weird, I might go ahead... Yeah, I'll show a section. I'll I'll pick a really weird section just as a uh as an example. This looks like a good one. Just show uh what I did to kind of mess with it. So each of these is going to be the same height. It's about 4 tall. So each of those each of these is going up. At least I'll try to make it in the same elevation. But this part looks like it's going to start going down. So I'm only going to make these three tall, but then these are going to carry the same pattern as four tall. You know. Otherwise, it's all the same height, and that looks kind of not good in my... In M.I.O. I am H O. <laughs> I don't know what I said the first time. That wasn't a anything really. Okay, have none of that. Not a rogue rogue height going on things. I think as long as they're the same height sideways, they'll be fine. Ooh, it's going to climb fast. Okay. Maybe I don't want it to go this fast. Or maybe I do. I just don't know it. I'll make it start start the climb over here. Whoa. Parkour. Get those skills up. You're going to want them. So let's see. This, this can be... Oh, it, there's no such thing as too tall in Minecraft. Maybe there is, but it probably isn't. I like things really tall. Makes it seem more important. Let's see. I'll go ahead and throw up this tower, too. Like, bleh, no. So. I'm going to use, use this as the base height. So... Like this would be too tall, too T W O. I'll bring this all. All right, so there's the tower. That means that we can move on, have it connect to this. So, pretty straightforward in the beginning. In between each of these, just all cobblestone, except for here. It kind of was a little bit. A little bit interesting. He made it more like this, so it sort of compromised the uh, the turning in look. What? There we go. I'll get I'll, we'll get a specific height going on those in a little bit. Just. Match it to the uh, the lowest uh, log. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna make all these at least match 
the height of the uh, the wood next to it. As you can see, this is already a pretty formidable looking wall, but it's just going to get even more formidable. So it's going to be a bit of a log type thing going on. I guess this one doesn't have to go up. Alright, this is good down here. I believe this should be doing this though. Yeah. So the logs should go one up from everything. And on each of these stairs, there's going to be this at the very tippy top. Each of these, each of these uh, pillars gets the upside down stair treatment. Can't reach it. Yes, I can. All right, and the same thing is going to happen to the other side. So each of these stair steps is going to have two blocks on them. And but before you go crazy, there's some exceptions. Like on the straightaways, this is how it goes down. But on the curved parts, it's going to be just a little bit different. What the got to save it from its misery. So yep, straightaways are straight aways. Straightaways are straight for a ways. Ha <laughs> ha. No. So where this starts to get kind of weird is oh, I should probably buff this up well they're all gonna have at least one on them so let's do that much now oh, I'm supposed to be I'm not supposed to be skipping them I'm supposed to be doing every every one of them Every last one of them. Well, if you ever have a funky section like this. Oh, yeah, this is going to be an upside down stair here. So, between each of these ones that are way too, they're too tall, there's an upside down stair. The lower level. Does that make sense? Maybe. Luckily, I can get up here. I'm really glad I'm building someone else's design. <laughs> so if if I can't do it right, at least hopefully they can. Oh yeah, there's a few openings like that, so those can be filled up. Wherever there's a, a log, there's going to be a half slab at the tip of top. The tip of the tip of the top. And each of those is going to have a lock on top of it. So as you can see, it's going to be alternating just like a, a good castle wall. Just like a very good, every good castle wall does alternate. Oh, this gets a little bit complicated because it's climbing in elevation. But it's not impossible. No, no. It's quite possible. I wonder if I can throw the upside down stair right there. So for each of these half slabs, you just, uh, 
Put a whole slab. <laughs> I guess you could call it a whole slab if you want. I don't know, actually. Oh, turns out I was wrong about that one. Uh, just do this. This is just going to be a weird spot. I don't know what happened. I think that was a fluke. The design should work. It worked everywhere else. I don't know why it didn't work there. Oh, yeah. So I think... Oh, I didn't get these. At this point, it's just putting in the path. And then realizing that I have so much more to do. <laughs> oh, man. I don't want to even think about it, but at the same time, it's going to have to happen. Oops. Maybe if I just power through unthinking, like, then maybe, maybe I'll be fine. This is where uh, listening to music can help, because this is, this is going to be for the long haul, I can already tell. Building towers, putting up walls. That'd be a good name for, uh... Not a band, but a, maybe a song. <laughs> Not even an album. We're we're fishing out of the barrel for this one. All right, let's not get distracted. Every piece of wood is gonna have this on it, guaranteed. I think only the very middle is going to have this and by middle I mean even the uh, even the corners aren't gonna do too much did I even that wasn't even a sentiment okay before I go crazy I'm going to make sure to cover the fact that this goes in here and it's all fun it can continue I don't know what to do with this yet I'll figure that out eventually um, let's see, definitely putting a, I'll do this little by little. I'll figure out where the middle is. Little by little, we find the middle. How lyrical of me. I see, this is going to have to go up probably, probably, definitely, or it's going to just keep looking weird. It can do that. I've... I've had things keep looking weird. Never bugged me. We definitely have different heights going on. Because the other door I couldn't hit my head on, and this one I can. Well, this is just going to be... Uh, imperfect structure which is fine you know the, maybe the people that live here are not perfect so they can make things that don't make sense you just gotta lay off you know they did what they could with what they had <laughs> especially this section they really tried so hard <laughs> In the end, it doesn't even matter. This is looking like a nice uh, way to have it climb. And have some strange lightings going on, because that's what happens, apparently. Actually, I like this. It's giving it the uh, randomness that it didn't really have before. I'm pretty happy with this little path. It's got weird stuff going on, because it's like, I don't even know what I'm doing. So it looks even like it could be slightly dilapidated, which is another look I'd like to, to try to go for. Um, as far as lighting, I guess every other one of these is probably good enough. Do your best to kind of hide it. If you can't, then, well, I guess 
you failed. But if you can, then awesome. This is supposed to be a wall of protection. If enemies are spawning on it, that's not protection. Ism. Put one in here. This looks really cool from on top, so I'm going to jump down and see what it looks like. Yep, that's just a section, but that looks that looks quite nice, actually. That's that's good, good stuff. One last comment before I just you know really go to town on this, just pound it out. You know, I'm going to uh, just talk about what happens when it's not level. Places like this, whatever stone you see, bring it down. And if there's dirt, bring it beyond that until there's no dirt. Then it looks like it's not just a castle made on sand or whatever, whatever you could call it. I like to make give it the illusion that it can possibly go down much further than it actually does. And unless someone's really curious and's like, "Oh, I wonder," <gasps> it doesn't go down. Usually, people don't do that. At least if they're polite. So, uh, hint, hint. All those, uh, but. I think so this this looks good. I think that's a little thing that makes it look that much better. So places like this. See, look at that. And this looks normal like oh yeah, there's some dirt piled up next to it. Oh, I got to brace myself for this. It's going to be a lot of work. It's going to be a lot of work. But I'm ready for it. Let's go. Yeah. Well, it seems that this project is actually gigantic, and I didn't realize it. I've got a tower over there, a tower here, another one there, several of them, and I have at least a bridge done. And I think I'm going to have the resources to do it but it just takes a lot of time to build something this big so but I, I really like how it's turning out actually this is um, I think this is really cool like just me but I don't know. I'm still excited to see this thing finally get uh, fixed up and to go but I think it will have to wait until the next episode as you can see, I, it's a lot of work putting up one of these things. And this is where the road ends for now. So I guess jump off this. But this is a pretty impressive uh, wall. I think it's uh, going to get the message across that this area wants nothing to do with the other area. <laughs> so I believe that's it for today for this week. So next week definitely I'm going to see about finishing that up and I guess I'll look into what else I could do around here. There is a lot still to do. But anyways, this has been Red McNed. Uh, thanks for watching and um, have a good day. Have a good day.